Ghost would be okay. Okay, and the but... game has launched. We are on. It's again Aztecs against Mayans, as we said mm. before. Let's talk about the maps, VH. Tell me which map you think it's better. Oh, uh, Riot's for sure. Uh, I just looked at out the, 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 the wood, and Viper has just a good wood on the left side. And he has a really, really open map. Look at that. That's very... something for him. Does... Does he Very have open map here. Uh, he does not. Uh, he he already called a restart for this tournament, so he cannot call a second one for. Uh, sorry for this map. So he cannot call mm -hmm. a second restart for this map. He needs to stick with this map. Uh, he oh, has no Riot. other choice. Uh, Viper and Riot as well, by the way. Yeah, both. Oh, no, sorry, I missed it. Did I Viper called restart as well? Yeah. Viper called. Yes. Ah. Uh, you didn't see how he called a restart. Uh, he no, wrote. I didn't really, uh... He wrote a noob with Palisades <laughs> on, 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 his, uh, on his town. <laughs> it was pretty fun to see. Anyway, I like uh, Riot's map. I like Riot's map here. Uh, it's just a problem that uh, you can't really place uh, lots of town centers. Uh, but uh, it's a good map. It's an easy wall map. Easy wall map. Uh, the front's a little it's... bit open, right? Yeah, the yeah. front's open, and that's where his stone is, as Mayans, he yeah. wants that, Yeah, but he can, he, so. he can put the ranges and the barracks there, and he yeah. would be okay, I guess. But yeah, he needs to be careful. Uh, on the other side, the Viper should actually aim for that, and try to uh, rush that uh, area. That's what I was just going to say, Viper's Aztecs, though, so he's going to be targeting that front area, isn't he? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. you, you may even find he goes forward, Rush. Well, uh, the thing is, Viper has a very open map, and uh, yeah, if you uh, with Aztecs, you really need to be aggressive if, if you cannot wall properly, right? A VH because uh, on Castle Age, if um, the main player starts putting out some plums, he can just raid everything around your town center, uh, yes. around your base. So I think Viper really needs to play this aggressive, and I I think that's what we are going to see with this map. He doesn't have much of a choice. Uh, also yeah. with this bad wood, if he loses this, uh, there's not really <laughs> much more wood to take, rather than this one here at the back. Can you drush on, on these games? Well, of course you can. <laughs> uh, the only rule is you cannot attack any villagers before minute 7. After minute 7, you can attack everything you, can take you want. Wars? You cannot take wars, no. Uh, oh. uh, stealing wars, stealing sheep is not allowed uh, through the whole feudal age. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> something you don't like, something you don't like too much, right? Yeah. I see the boar, I take it already, man. I, it does, I, I mean, I even took, uh, uh, yesterday I took uh, my allies boar by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool, that's cool, man. Uh, anyway, we do see here, uh, Riot was able to do a very nice lure, placing his boar just under his TC. Very, very nicely done here by him. Let's take a look at Viper, what is he doing? Well, his berries are safe at least. Uh, will he try to wall this back side of his base, uh, VH? What do you think? You mean who? Viper or Riot? Viper, yes, Viper. He has here the back could be easily walled, as I can see, uh, yeah, between but I those think two he forests. Might play open because he's gonna try to rush probably. Uh, the, the, his goal is really bad. His main goal is really bad. It's really, really like uh, forward and far from his town center, which uh, he, is kind of bad. He does have one at the back. You think it's an option to actually take the one on the back? Yeah. For sure, yeah. But the thing is, I would play aggressive if I was in, especially for a bad map like that. Uh, I am interested to see what Riot is actually gonna do. If he's gonna rush or, or try to 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 wall and maybe go castle and plumes, straight plumes, you know, it's interesting. Okay, we do see here a barracks from Viper. No big surprise. There's gonna be a rush, a yeah. dark age rush, probably five right. militia. That's the thing right. you actually see. It's doing uh, the same though, his barracks are going down now, so... Oh, interesting. So what's the best way to actually defend from a, from Aztec's uh, Drush VH? You make five uh, militias your own, or uh, uh, what's exactly the best the best way? I usually do or either four and, and play defensive, wait for the Aztec guy to come and add a villager to fight the militias back, or maybe just to take more gold and do five as well. Okay, so going five militia as an Aztecs is also an option, you think, yeah? yeah I think yeah. Riot will be defensive, though his map is so easy to defend, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Even just two houses on the right, a little bit of a palisade down behind his gold, and he's laughing. Yeah, and that's one thing uh, Tef pointed out. It's, it's actually important to play defensive against Aztecs. Uh, you should uh, actually wait for him to, to, 
to be the aggressive guy because uh, by the 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 path between the enemies that that there are usually wolves, so you you should wait for the guy to come to you and get some damage on the militias as well, you know. Okay, Viper has four out already. The fifth coming out uh, right now. There you go. What about Reed? Reed only has three. Um, looks to me like he's gonna try to go up VH. Uh, he's not gonna try and make more, is he? Well, he's sending more villagers to gold, but he does have a lot of food mm. right now. He's yeah, he's gonna up. Yeah, he's yeah, hoping he's to go up. Defending, you got to remember them, Nelson. So those three will probably be enough because he's got his own villagers as well. Mm -hmm. And then he can yeah. get food a little quicker and go straight for archers. Well, mm -hmm. I do hope VH he makes a few walls here until he's wood, right? Because otherwise uh, they are going to be very, very open to the militia from Viper coming in right now. And also maybe he should try to wall these berries. Uh, because I think that's where Viper is going to attack right now. Uh, let me see. Ria does see this eagle warrior. So he could expect... Okay, he pulls out his three militia as well. Let's see how this first fight goes. Ria adding two villagers to the fight. But Viper has the heal. It could be Viper taking the best out of this. Riot chooses to go back. Yeah, but Riot's gonna choose to, to fight that. He wants to kill those militias and then he's probably gonna play aggressive. Yeah, he's adding more militias of his own. Uh, Viper seems to be uphill for the most part of it, so I would think Viper is gonna win this uh, two down or a three mm. down for Riot. Bad fight for Riot right here. Viper taking the best out of this. The uh, Eagle War is killed as well. And Viper still has so many left. Um, yeah. Uh, Seems like Riot keeps fighting downhill somehow. This militia is gonna be out soon enough, maybe. Okay, somehow he managed to um, clear this with more and more villagers. Uh, what yeah, but he lost too many there. He yeah, he lost his army on the one vill as well, didn't he? Yeah. But the thing is, look at uh, how how open Viper F is, and now he's uh, Riot is actually making mana towers, and seems like he's going for forward with. Those yeah, villagers. I see four villagers going towards Viper's face. I think this is gonna be a fort again. Oh. So uh, Raid is gonna try exactly the same thing he tried on the other game. Um, what do you think, VH? I think he could be a little bit more su successful this time, maybe. No, Viper is already starting to wall yeah, because he's obviously noticed it. As well, isn't he? I'm surprised that Vio didn't go back as soon as he watched Viper following him. Yeah, but the thing is, like, uh, look at the Viper wood. If uh, Ryut places some towers, uh, he, uh, Viper's gonna have no wood to, to get. Like, it's actually not so bad for him if he goes forward. Okay, seems like this wolf is uh, playing against Riot, but it's not gonna be too major. Uh, he has four villagers. Viper trying to help that wolf, but no, no, sir, it's not gonna happen. Riot has enough villagers there to defend himself. Um, what do you think, VH? What's the best place to attack now? Because Viper is walled on the front, so he cannot just walk through those walls. Um, mm -hmm. well, do you think he will make a tower there just behind yeah. the wood from Viper? Mm -hmm. But the thing is, now that Viper is viewed, though, he's gonna do the tower uh, as well to, to not let Ryut do it. Mm -hmm. And probably Viper is going straight cast, which is bad for Ryut. Somehow he needs to get inside. Uh, he's gonna have to play really aggressive now because he's not gonna go cast, though. He's gonna play full feud, though. Uh, he could wall his base, which would be okay, but now he, he needs to be. Uh, really aggressive. Oh, a nice job here by Riot's VH. Very nice yeah. job. He starts building uh, something. Viper thought probably it's a tower, but it was an outpost. And it uh, immediately makes Viper build a tower of his own, spending all the stone on that tower. Very nice job here by Riot. Cycle. Well, uh, just a very, very smart guy. And uh, it causes Viper to make a tower there. And now he cannot. Well, he's gonna try to stonewall that. Um, what? Where should Riot place his tower now, VH? He still has enough stone for one. Yeah, well... It's too late. Viper's gonna stonewall that area. It'll be totally fine. And he's yeah. gonna be... And he's gonna be Castle Age hours yeah. before Riot. Yeah, let's see. Viper 20% up to Castle Age. Okay, that tower seems good to me. Uh, will it hit the villagers, uh, VH? Is that tower gonna I hit those really... villagers on the wood? I should... I think he could uh, actually do a little bit more forward, uh, closer to the... to the tree there. Okay, but, let's, uh, let's see. see. He's well, if two plus one to get out those villagers, I mean. Well, if this tower goes up, uh, this is actually bad for Viper because he then needs to move to all these way around here, which he's already doing somehow. And I think he cannot was, uh, use this other wood here because it would be too close. Yeah, it looks like the tower was a little bit too far away. It cannot hit yeah, it uh, these villagers here. But maybe once Not he has the fletching upgrade, maybe. 
With Fletching he can get it, but now all of them, the ones on the left side of the tower of Viper will be able to still get the wood, so I, I think that was a bad uh, tower placement for Riot, in my opinion. Okay, let's... Even uh, if he gets heated by the, the towers, you know, when he was doing it, uh, it, it would be still good for him because he would take uh, out of uh, all of the, those villagers from Viper on the wood. And now it's really bad for Riot. Yeah, since, this uh, is Viper's where the, uh, the pain yes. could begin for Riot, since Viper is now going forward with his archers, he's probably gonna be upgrading them to x -Bowman. there you go, he is making x -Bowman out of them, and Riot is mm -hmm. not walled wall at all. He, he, open, Riot, didn't he? he did stonewall here the left side, but uh, the whole right side is still open, those villagers on the wood are gonna be hurt, and uh, VH can, uh, sorry, <laughs> Viper can actually go through the right side, <laughs> um, Riot now trying to close this gap, nice job by him, um, but yeah, the problem is this small gap here. Let me see if Riot sees this on time. Let me see. No, these villagers are probably gonna go down. Uh, he's trying to micro them, going make them go away from the archers. Is he gonna be able to? No, one goes down. No chance. That and was really smart, actually. He he did that to sacrifice those villagers so he would be able to uh, do some quick walls to the town center. Okay, that's what he did, and he lost another villager here on the wood. And bad thing for Riot, Viper could still just try and go around and harass his other yeah, witches he's still open here there. behind him. That's oh, bad. here on the side he was open as well. Viper runs in. Uh, well, nice for Riot. He's able to not lose any villager, but this house does not have a lot of HP. I think Viper can just try to kill it, and he will be able to. Another villager goes down here by Riot. Um, tough spot, tough spot again. What is he doing on Viper's base? Still trying to get here inside these walls. Uh, doesn't look like he's going to be able to because those are stone walls. Those are very, very strong ones. And Viper yeah, is only one we thought VH is going around and try to rest his other wood. Yeah, that's what finding in a seizure shop coming from Viper. Um, let's see if he goes for a Magna or maybe go play aggressive on, on Riot. And the thing is, Riot's not gonna be able to go cast those so soon. And the problem with Riot as well, he's, he's enclosed himself so tight that Viper can hit his wood and his yeah. lumber from every area Riot's gonna go. Like that new exactly. lumber camp he's gonna put, if Viper just moves his archers into that little gap in the trees, his crossbows, then Riot's got no wood at all. Exactly, perfect pointed out by Tef. That's yeah. pretty bad for him, for real. Yeah, uh, he's moving his wood villagers to that wood patch there at the left side of his map. Um, can this still be hit with VH by, uh, by Viper yeah. here with a few sure. archers? Definitely. Mm -hmm. For sure. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, look at the Ryut's economy, is quite uh, unbalanced. He has 500 gold. He has 500 Jesus. gold and no not enough wood for obvious reasons since... Uh, Viper has been raiding his wood all over the map. Reed's gonna be able to clear, uh, kill this crossbowman here, but he will oh, still have loads at, of other ones. Map. Look at four villagers dying to an eagle on the left side. They were oh, the four villagers. Oh my went god! I mean, and he only has one HP. Reed, just look. Oh, okay, there you go. There oh, you go. It would be. <laughs> yeah, he only had one HP. It would be really bad to lose uh, four villagers to one HP uh, eagle warrior. But Riot obviously <laughs> notices on time and turns back to kill that eagle warrior. He's gonna be fine. Um, he's now up to Castle Age, but I don't see a lot of army VH. How can he actually stop the army from uh, Viper at this point? Yeah, it's tricky, but uh, I'm interested to to know what uh, he's actually gonna do. Like he's not taking stone to 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 do plummets, uh, he's trying to finish that tower. Uh, Arch, uh, Viper has a lot of crossbows and he doesn't have either ranges, so I have no idea what he's gonna do in Castle Age. Well, Riot stone was always a problem, wasn't it? That's what we said. It's right out the front, and if Viper yeah. was aggressive and on him, Riot would have no stone. Yeah. yeah. I, and he's a long way behind on the spoke kind. Even with Mayans, he's gonna struggle to catch up. It's yeah. really but hard. If, if I'm not mistaken, uh, he's gonna buy stone to do a castle. That's why he has so much gold there. That's why uh, his economy is so unbalanced. But he's still busy in market though, if he yeah, wants to do that. Still... Oh, no, he's making it. Now. He's making it, yeah. So... Mm -hmm. BH totally right, he's gonna try and buy stone to make sure he can make a castle and produce some plumbed archers, which is still gonna take a while and it's obviously gonna hurt his economy a little bit. And in the meanwhile... Where is he gonna put his 
Where is he going to put this castle? I've dug yeah, that's stone. a really good question. Because if he puts it by his stone, he's still in trouble with all his wood. If he puts it by his wood, then he still can't take any stone. And Viper... Oh. Yeah, Viper will not yeah. give up on this of oh. wood villagers from, from, from Riot. Go ahead, go that. ahead, VH. He's actually not gonna do a castle, he's actually gonna go for fast Imperial Age. Oh my God, he's making see. the buildings already, look at that. Interesting. Oh, I do see what you mean. He's trying to sell all his wood to make sure he has enough gold to actually Why? buy food. But is there any chance... Why? It doesn't make any sense. Is there any <laughs> chance that this actually works no. out, VH? No, no. It um, will not work. Never in a million years. Yeah. Uh, well, unless uh, he can do a really nice rating kill out of uh, uh, Viper's economy, but... It's just really bad because he can't really take lots of economy there. He's kind of, you know, as Steph pointed out, he's in a small place there. It's bad for him. He has, he's gonna reach uh, Imperial with a really bad economy. Well, he is able to click up to Imperial. Here we go, but with 50 population, uh, that's really not a lot. Uh, and do you think he's gonna even have enough resources to make um, the Elite Eagle Warrior upgrade, uh, VH? Because yeah, I... he will, but uh, not gonna be able to do all the upgrades and stuff like that. Okay, can't he's... even afford the blacksmith at the moment. Oh my god, and he can only make one barracks. <laughs> Here you can see, still not even up. Yeah. He's uh, uh, he does have all already one. He's tried to make his second one, but hurting, hurting a lot on the wood. And he was able to kill this expose here from Viper. Uh, was know. able to take them down. And in the I, meanwhile, I think that was just. That click into Imperial thing was just a panic desperation move by Ria to try and get Viper off him. Yeah, it was... I uh, don't know why. There's no yeah. logic at all. He's got nothing. No economy, no pauper villagers, no army. No yeah. buildings to even make me from. No blacksmith, he can't even afford the wood. I just don't get it. Well, I think... Yeah, I... look at the difference on the population now. Oh my god, it's double population Huge. for uh, for Viper. <laughs> Look at this, 80 against 40. Very hard spot here for Riot. Uh, maybe he just realized yeah. he was so much behind that his only chance would be to like do something very unexpected. Well, this is unexpected, yeah. I will give him that, but I don't think it's gonna work for him. Let's see, let's see. Uh, he's gonna yeah. be able to <laughs> click the Elite Upgrade Feudal, right? He's gonna be able to. Yeah, another thing I don't get it is why he's not doing egos. Like he's just doing egos now that he's in pure age. He should be like with twenty egos by now and close to Viper's economy already too to try to kill as fast as he can, you know. But yeah, he he's did. just doing egos now. He did the same on the the one game when he made Jaguarias. He didn't make a single unit till he actually hit Imperial. Like I just don't get that ever. He put it on like one and a half thousand gold and over a thousand food and he hadn't made a single unit. Well, the only reason yeah, I see for this is that uh, he wanted to make the Elite upgrade at all costs. And if he would make some um, Eagle Warriors before, he would not have enough economy. Uh, well, let me see, he does yeah, have no upgrades. Upgrade. Not a no single upgrade, upgrade on this. It's a uh, real... He, he, did, he didn't have the wood to make an... Um... Oh my god, I forgot to blend it. <laughs> yeah. It's Black actually Smith. interesting. The Black um, Smith, yeah. How 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 um, effective the upgrades are because the the cross was almost to kill the those eagles. Yeah, they are killing like these eagles. Crossbows. I agree. I agree with you. And Reed's now going to move in inside Viper's economy. Viper is open. Bear in mind, but I think these eagles will die so soon to TC fire if the, if it has to be. Let's check it out. He, they have zero upgrades, and Viper's TCs do have plus two upgrade. There you go, dying so so fast to them. And Viper seems like he's going to go for champions at VH. He's doing many yes, but... arms, long, sword, long swordman, and yeah, Ryu trying to go in. Ah, but awesome fast walls here by Viper. On the only spot he was open, was so, so fast, keeping Ryu outside his base, and he's gonna be fine, as Viper has enough army to actually defeat uh, this uh, small number of Eagle Wars, which is still coming from Ryu. Uh, he's even trying to convert a few ones he wasn't able to. He does, he does have the plus one defense upgrade now, but mm, that's not gonna be enough, right, VH? Yeah, not gonna be enough, and that's bad for Riot because he won't be able to raid the main economy of uh, Viper inside, which is really bad. And that yeah, was he should be aiming to do. 
Yeah, he wanted to go inside, but he allowed Viper to close himself just at the last second and making sure he kept himself uh, safe. Let's see Viper. Is he doing the next upgrade? Long Swordsman, so not not just yet. Oh no, he's not even in, in, uh, in Imperial. He's actually a uh, long no. way to Imperial. Yeah. I hadn't realized that uh, already. And, well, Riot still has a rather small number here of Eagle Warriors. They are really not a lot here wandering around the map. Trying to Riot, find a spot Riot to hit, but he didn't to, find rush it. Rush in to get a castle up in front of his base. Can you see her? Yeah. Uh, looks like he's gonna Just be to play, able yeah. to. He's trying. Oh, he still needs to close this. Viper is Basketball. moving in with his arm. No, okay. He's gonna be okay. Gonna be okay. This castle is gonna go up. Uh, you think he's gonna try to switch for Plum Archers? VH? Mm -hmm. That's a really good question because he won't have economy for for quite a long time to do to do plumes. He needs actually to reboom now that he can't actually uh, get inside Viper's economy. But that's the thing, Viper economy is like t uh, three times stronger than him. He actually needs to do some damage with those egos and kill as much villagers as he can to try to get back on the game. The population difference is just brutal at this point. Look at Viper, he has more than double population from Riot. And um, he did manage to make this castle and he is doing plums as we... Uh, sort of suspected. Yeah. He does have some nice resources, um, considering he's only one TC at this point. And um, I don't know, but once Viper actually reaches Imperial Age, VH, it's gonna be a really hard for Riot, right? Because his economy is so small. Um, he can produce a few units, but it yeah. will take him a lot of time to mass enough units and actually upgrade them as yeah. well. Yeah, Viper's and the bonus on his for way me now is Viper well. just clicked. Yeah. yeah. So Viper on his way to Imperial. He's laying down barracks. He's laying down siege workshops. He's laying down castles. And he's, and he's, he's actually making army on his way up. Look, every one of his barracks is full of eagles being made. So when he actually gets to Imperial, he'll have a huge army. Yeah, and look at uh, how strong his economy is. Uh, lots of farms and um, he has 44 farms. Uh, Riot has, uh, if 20, uh, that's a more a big number. And I see Viper expanding even more. He found the gold here at the right side. He's gonna probably make a DC on it. I don't know, he's making only a mi mining camp for now, but he'll probably make a DC there soon enough, once he has uh, actually enough wood for it. And still pumping more units and more and more units. And once Viper actually reaches Imperial Age, he has so many units queued up, I think it's gonna be really, really hard for Riot to actually stop him, since Riot does not have many units himself. And the ones he has, they are all unupgraded, so it's really a tough spot for him. Yeah, it's gonna be GG as soon as Viper gets to Imperial Age. He won't be able to do the Elite Plum with uh, Archers, for sure. He doesn't have economy for that and it's a really expensive upgrade. Yeah, he's only on one TC at this point, so he obviously does not have a lot of villagers, let me check. Yeah, it's um, 57 villagers and 107 for Viper, so huge, huge difference there on the economies. And um, does, yeah, he still has some gold left, that's good for him, especially being Mayans, he can uh, collect for a little bit longer. Uh, but still, on the long run, Viper is just getting the whole map control. Oh, he was trying to get here Relic, he wasn't able to since Riot had one unit there and was able to kill that monk. That's something I yeah, maybe need to check. Viper on two Relics already, VH. Um. Yeah. But the, the thing is, that the game is so over that it would be like the best comeback ever if Riot actually managed to win this game. Okay, Riot does have a nice a small number of army here, but he's trying to do the best, uh, best he can. Trying to raid here Viper on the wood. Viper sees it right away, brings his villagers back, back to safety. And But look at these numbers. When Riot sees this, he's not going to be happy. Uh, can he even see it? Well, he knows something is being made here, but he still cannot see it. Um, are those siege ramps or something? Or are they being siege ramps made? Yeah capped ramps only at this moment um, let's see Viper needs to somehow protect uh, this trebuchet would be bad for him if he actually loses it uh, only for small numbers of uh, Eagle Wars and yeah he actually lost that trebuchet for him a little bit um, a little bit sloppy by Viper at this point uh, yeah and now Viper is finally gonna be able to take this relic as Riot was there protecting it with his Eagle Warrior which is not yeah. bad siege rams are coming though they are gonna 
kill those castles really fast. Siege Ram on the way, there we go. And Rio does not have an answer for Siege Rams at this point. It does have one Manganov there, but that's not going to be enough because Viper him single warriors with 4 plus 4, all the defensive upgrades, um, not not all the attack upgrades, he's still missing them. Uh, but yeah, yeah once, once the Siege Rams come, it's going to be really, really hard for Rio to actually defend this. Viper trying to search a little bit for Riot's map, taking a look where are his villagers, where is his economy, is actually being able to kill one, a few villagers here, one is down. Um, yeah. Also gonna try to kill a few units here, losing them to the plum archers, but he is not too afraid of that because, oh my god, look at this siege, oh my god, look at this ram train just uh, falling under Ryut's head. What will Ryut do against this? A lot of siege rams, a lot of siege rams, some champions behind, not uh, champions just yet, but maybe soon enough, and eagle warriors as well. And the only thing Ryut has at this point is that mangonel VH, uh, that's not gonna be enough, is it? <laughs> no, it's pretty much over. <laughs> so Viper is probably now gonna try and kill it. It's a GG. What can you do against this army? A lot of rams, a lot of champions, a lot of evil warriors. So I will. I actually have no idea what was Riot's planning to do when he decided to go straight in pre age. The like only, uh, the only thought he... I had is, like we said at the time, is just to frighten Viper away and get him out of his <laughs> base. And that's yeah, about all like, they did achieve, didn't it? Give him a bit of time. I would, I would have done uh, the castle would would be a better idea in my opinion, and try to reboom it because blue red archers are really strong. But going privilege with like no economy at all is just so Rage. impossible.